Greetings, I'm Dr. Bobby Donaldson, a native of Augusta, Georgia, and a proud product of the W.S. Hornsby Elementary School and the John S. Davidson Fine Arts Magnet School. Currently, I serve as a professor of history and director for the Center for Civil Rights History and Research at the University of South Carolina in Columbia. Today, I want to join a wide circle around this country in paying a great salute and tribute to Mrs. Christine Miller Betts, the retiring executive director of the Lucy Craft Laney Museum. Ms. Betts has been with me every step of the way of my career. Today, she marks 26 years of extraordinary service. Well, 25 years ago, in February of 1996, she welcomed a young graduate student to the Laney Museum to deliver a paper. And since that moment, in lectures, in tours, workshops, galas, luncheons, award ceremonies, and talks I've given around Augusta, she has been there, supportive and encouraging. And today it's quite amazing to sit back and look at the record and to see a small museum on Phillips Street grow into a national destination. What the Lucy Craft Landing Museum is today is in great measure a result of the time, energy, and resources invested by Ms. Betts, her extraordinary staff, the volunteers, including Mr. Leonard Betts and the executive board. And so today as we salute her life and her career, I'm glad to be one in the number. In 1907, Ms. Lucy Laney said the measure of an individual is the service and the impact they have on others. 30 years later, Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune gave an address to a group called the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History, led by Dr. Carter G. Woodson. On that occasion, Ms. Bethune, who had roots in Augusta, said, if our people are to fight their way out of bondage, we must arm them with a sword and a shield, a belief in themselves and their possibilities. It is our obligation and our sacred duty, and we must do so at whatever cost. Well, today, after 26 years, Ms. Betts has followed the example and heard the call of Ms. Laney and Dr. Bethune. So Ms. Betts, as you now turn the page to the next chapter in your history, I wish you all the best and extend my gratitude and God's blessings on you. Congratulations.